Hi everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on when you came across uh, this uh, video. Today I'll be doing a tutorial on a uh, makeup pose uh, tutorial. That's what I'll be doing for today. No? Using African fabric, a wasp print. So beautiful. This is what I'll be doing for today. How to cut and then stitch it's so beautiful and uh, the reason i'm doing this tutorial is a very simple tutorial anyway it's because of we that are into the fashion industry and in europe last month a young guy reached out to me he just came in anyway so he said he's into fashion and also i was really happy i advised him at all so he, he was telling me that uh, it's like these people they don't wear our own one best size and all. So I told him, I said, you study the environment. Just study the environment first and then come back to me. Which he did. So he came back and was saying, Ah, I understand that these people they don't really put on those own one best size and all. So I now advised him. I said, You see, anywhere, whether anywhere you find yourself, you study the environment know what they like and know what they don't like know what they need okay so he was really happy so i now advise i said this is the reason i'm also into the street hair eh, fashion as well you see i make this you no know, all this post tutorial different size colors and all small size big size you know i said this is what i'm into as well because when i came in I study the environment so I know I find out that these people they love the streetwear the streetwear fashion you know it's a cultura you combine it for them they love it so it was really happy so I told him things like this you know these are no streetwear no easy tops and all I told him things like this they love it things like this they love it so you must be creative so i advise him on what to do uh, these are the, some of the things that these people like and like all the sports and all just design it in a way that no they will love it so he was really happy so he also requests for the tutorial and also i promise him that this week i will upload the you know, the post tutorial on my page and i hope it will also help others out there so this is what i'll be doing for today so let's get straight on how to cut and stitch so what you need on this day tutorial your fabric is sewing materials interface zip and all so you get non errant plates place on your fabric and the next thing you do is a uh, Depends on how wide or big you want yours to look like. So like on this, I will be adding three or four inches, you no, know, extra to the line of the plate. You just use it to mark out round. If you are adding three inches, just use it to take it here round. So it depends. You, are, you make it the smaller size. I think the plate size, the, the round plate size is okay. So if you are making a bigger size, then you add extra inches to it. Remember, you, you need zip, okay? And what you do next is to cut out. Make sure the lines, no, you connect the, the lines together and then you cut out gradually after marking the lines. So you can see, I have cut my fabric you know out now so what i will be doing this is to you know cut out the lining so i will be using this you no know, black hair lining just place your fabric on top and then cut out i'm true with it you iron smoothly make sure you iron smoothly so what I will be doing next is to know I am my interface on the black hair lining. Make sure you use the strong interface, the strong one. So.
so you can see I'm true with the lining. Then you place both fabric and the lining together, fold into two like so, okay? Just fold into two. So what you do next is this. On both sides of the mid parts, you use three inches to cut out the base here, design. Three inches up, three inches down on both sides, okay? And then cut out. This is how you get the base shape. That is just the posse shape. And then you open. You can see. So what I've been doing is, is to fix the zip. So you, you fix your zip in between the lining and the fabric, just like so. As if you are using your fabric to tone out, or the lining to tone out the fabric. Just fix it in between. So what you do next is simple. You can also weave first, use your overlock machine to weave the side of the fabric and the lining. So you can see that what I'll be doing next is to you know, stitch both sides with three or four inches first. That's the, the, the shape of the post, both side. You can use four inches, you can use five, you can use three, depends. So on this, I'll be using four inches to stitch it up first. Then I will not attach the zip. You just use it to close both sides and then fix the zip. It's so simple. I'm almost done with the post tutorial. I think you can also you know, use your initiative to add other designs to it. You can see I'm true with the fixing of the zip. So what you do next is to take the base, you know, this is the posse shape now. You take it, you, you open it, okay? Oh. You just open it like so. Uh -huh. So you stitch. You can see that's how you get the posse shape. There you stitch. So after that, I will be using my overlock machine also to run it. You can see I'm true with it, using my overlock machine as well to close it so that it will be firm. I'm almost true, you can see, it's so simple. That's all on the how to cut and stitch your pose tutorial. You can see the beauty is that I told you you can attach or add any design of your choice. So that's all for today on how to cut and stitch your, your pose, no? Tutorial, makeup pose tutorial. It's so easy. Let's see the inside. You can see it's beautiful. So what you do next is just to you know, put in your your makeup or whatever that you want to use it for, and then close. It's so beautiful. So that's all for today on how to coat and stitch a makeup pose tutorial. Please, if you find it helpful, please like and share and then follow for more. Have a super blessed day.